stockbroker on the front row. I tell you, it's five allowed. Stocks. Man, we got Keita with us here too. Man. Keita be a road warrior. Look, I done ran all the members away. Dang. Huh? Dang, I'm just, I'm down to, I'm down to 10 rich members. I ain't mad. I might send an email to others, stay home. Don't bring no poverty up in here. Hey, I got a full week, so we're going to cover some stuff. We're going to get out of here. Uh, full week. Um, so on the phone with uh, Omaha Police Department. Mm. So because of the nature, um, they'll be in here, uh, in, outside, everything. Um, you can even hear the strain in their voice. But of course, they were already well aware of the stuff. Even though some, some stuff the World Herald put in there was not correct, but it doesn't matter. So angry young men who have been abandoned. We in a mess, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's yes, beyond sir. a mess. Okay, just angry. And uh, I don't know if y'all saw the article where I think somebody in 100 black men is like, you know, we're doing the best we can, but, you know, it doesn't seem, we can't, we're really not seeing the effects. First of all, you what you're dealing with is spirits. You can't do nothing without the Holy Ghost. Because you're dealing with, so you can't attack something that's been going on for generations with, religiosity. This won't work. It'll wear you out. You're dealing with spirits. Okay. Look 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 how long it's taking the word to break your spirit. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean look, I mean my Master Raphael said he said, Daddy, look how long it took you to get a day beyond at prestigious uh, prestigious school. It took thirty years. You don't have another thirty years to do that. Okay. And so uh, I was I was talking to Pastor Lynn, I don't think I discouraged her, not not nothing with her life or anything, just I was showing her because, you know, we studied politics and a lot of stuff, and I was I was reading a backstory. The, 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 the backstory on Nancy Reagan is more interesting than the fairy tale they created, mm -hmm. even though she had a lot of power, don't get me wrong, and, and it wasn't a fairy tale, but her backstory is, you know, but that's what politics is. So I was I just for some reason I Google someone else, won't tell you who because I don't want to tell it who. And uh so I shared it with Pastor Linda and she's very she said it makes her sad. And uh because the church has a great responsibility. Uh y'all can't pay me, you single women enough for not sheltering homosexual men and then pairing them off with you. Hmm. Amen. You can't pay Amen. me. You can't, yes, you can't, Lord. you can't. For real. For real. I mean, and I know they're homosexual. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. And do that, I, I shared stuff with her, and she, she said, well, well, what are, what are we to do? And I said, I said, I mean, I, so I told her, well, then, if you, you, you discouraged by that, about that, don't Google all the other stuff I looked up. Um, but I told her with all the stuff I researched, it just makes me more, because I got a full week. I mean, I don't get a break. Uh, uh, I'm motivated. Okay? And it has to get like that. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm motivated to uh, inspire those that listen and some things I have to build before I drop the mic. All right? Hmm. And so anytime you have a goal in mind, you have what's called collateral damage. You have things that can't make, can't stand the test. Right. They fall off. <clears throat> okay. And so the key to doing this for 30 years is, because it used to bother me, people would fail God. Man, literally, I took it personally. <laughs> Man, you could have your drawers in a knot around your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, just don't you catch a cold. Yeah, there's some big drawers. <laughs> I know what I'm teaching is right. You're right. Man, I, I don't, you know what I mean? Man, I'm, it, it might be turning sick. Man, I ain't looking for nothing. Anything I, if I think something's valuable, I'll look for it. If I don't look for it, there's your answer. It ain't valuable. You understand? And because uh, I got work to do, and uh, we have some beautiful examples here in the church. 
We have some beautiful things. And even my, my, my single women with the, with the strain, I, I just want the, the married women, the, the Sister Harris's, the, the, the Tracy Marsh's, to, to pray for the single women. That's no joke. Yeah, uh, Gabby, it's no joke. They, you know, it's war. Hopefully, um, you women will will be able to share your husband without accusing them. I don't want nobody accusing their husband. You don't see Sister Barlow accusing none of y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Y'all stunners, too. You ain't never see her bust in the room talking about the meeting over with. Thank you, Lord. Coming out to the farmhouse in the parking lot, trying to be clandestine. And <laughs> Who are you talking to now? I, I, I go to another church, you'll see what I'm talking about. To the where, where I know two K where literally the pastor's wife is responsible. See, at Grace, I run people out. <laughs> at least she don't do it. I do that. All right, I don't run them out. Just, I put them out, okay? Uh, but she doesn't do that. The other church is the other way around. His wife runs people away because he's insecure and as we're going to talk about tonight don't you know if, you, if you're going to be insecure warn somebody that's all i ask get Amen. you a jacket get it go, go to westro get a t-shirt say before you go to jerry's you need to know something about me <laughs> i'm insecure okay i'm insecure and uh i can't take pressure and so what we're going to do tonight, then we're going to get out. Uh, I, don't, I won't say we get out. Um, I don't want you just to be married. Write this down. I just don't want to just be married. We don't have time for that. Right. It's a waste of time for you to just be married. Uh, that's why I use a lady who, uh, and some testimony she had on Sunday, I thought her husband had just been murdered like maybe five years ago. It still doesn't. It's been five or ten years ago. No, folks, that happened in September. And I, I, that's why I recopy the testimony. I said the vodka didn't taste good. Everything she tried to do to kill the pain, nothing lasted. Until God told her, come here. And she said when she got here, Satan tried to tell her to leave. Uh, I had a husband, and that's why I went to each one of you, just mind-blowing. Murder. Not leave me, not nothing, gone. And one day I went back to single life. Okay, and then the effect we read it had on her son in and out of therapy. Don't want to live. Just, just, just. Oh man, you gotta thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God. So Amen. all I've done is send her scriptures. Okay, it's about you need a Holy Ghost because I don't believe in telling people oh, over a period of time. How you know that? You don't know that. You can talk about what you've lost. Don't be telling nobody else what, what, how much kind of, kind of time frame they're going to have. Right? I don't like people speaking above their experience. Right? So we're going to learn tonight about, about, about not just being married and those you who are married to a, to a, to a, to a oh, is this a Tamika showing? <gasps> Tamika! Woo! <gasps> Wait a minute. We's about to ready, we we's about ready to pull the billboard down and put it in here. Oh. Oh. We made a baby. Ain't learned the lesson. Look at her lipstick back on. All right. Go for a triple double. And beauty is that beauty underneath there? Yes, beauty. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Go, go. Just bring up front. Show everybody. Is there a baby under there? Let the baby breathe. I ain't done this in a while. Oh, there you go. Mm. Now, this is, not, this is what I'm encouraged by. Huh? And you single women should be encouraged. This girl didn't leave church. Right. right. God sent this man. Yep. A man. Yes. A man. Not no man. Who look like a man who want another man. Y'all have no idea. 
essence, the church has become a hiding place for homosexual men. And the pastor knows it, and he filters them out to bangers and stunners who don't understand why they ain't got getting none after a week, a couple of days. Why he always want to fast and pray. And now, and, and, and now we got to pray to get your shoe pulled out of his behind. <laughs> We done named this behind Louboutin. Because he got a red shoe up in there. <laughs> no, I no, hey. Isn't it better to be single and lonely than with some man don't want none? Huh? Every time a good looking man go by, he beat you looking. Excuse me. And phone come out his mouth. The church. The church hiding place. Ooh, I did some crazy research. I just won crazy research. Like my daughter said, we can't even get it right. Showed us some, you know, from what I read, Hillary could have used something, but she didn't want, I don't even want to do that could have used it to tip some things in her favor. Man, politics is dirty. But you, but you know what the problem is? The church was buckshouting instead of building up day days and Lexi's to infiltrate. They buckshouting and power lording and, and with no power. Huh? And so there's nothing wrong with the Harris family with that discipline, you know. You, you, you know, and it's good for sports. Don't get me wrong, sports. But there's nothing wrong with grooming your son to be a prime minister. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Nothing wrong with, with grooming him to take over, to play a, a CEO. Right. Everybody ought to have a Monopoly game at the house. Huh? And don't play my son because they are cutthroat. They are slum lords. <laughs> They will put eight hotels on Baltic. <laughs> Once they pass go, it's cracking. We'll be making deals, be hiding money in their hat and stuff. Just that Cammy is a slum lord if I ever seen one. <laughs> He'll hold up a game to get your property. Look, mate, here's what's going on. I give you a pass. Amen. So the church was buck shouting and, and, and covering it effeminate men, and we in a mess. To some churches, if they listen to the podcast, they say, why is he telling those women over 40 they even have a chance to be married? You think I'm lying. That's why I, mean, I make people mad. Hey, you mother so-and-so, you 38. <laughs> Hell, you better find you some high heels, learn to walk in them. You 38, you mother so and so. No, nah, I could never. All right. Ever. Ever. I, I was inspired by the garbage I read. Just like, oh, I got something to do. We got to build families. Okay? And, and, and wives, you cannot be insecure. You know, you have to trust that your merchandise is good. Amen. And you have to inspire your husband. Uh, uh, did, did you encourage? Don't, don't tell me to encourage all the women that you think you look better than. <laughs> uh, no, did, did, you can have a problem in this church. Uh, no, no. Did you, did you make sure you encourage? Right? Because it takes one incident, you can be in a situation. That's what mess up pastors. Why? It's one. Man, she just running people away and tripping and went to go. Uh, speak to her husband, honey, and it was over with. And they ushered her out that church. <laughs> oh, yeah, it didn't take long. I, knew, I know two of one of them, they put her stuff out on the sidewalk mm. for mistreating people. They, they never think she would be single. Thought her husband was going to live forever. Amen. I'm already teaching hard. So we can't afford for you just to be married. 
things you got to have. All right, we're going to look at, look at 2 Kings chapter 20. You sure don't want you marred. <laughs> How you spell that? <laughs> going to marry a prayer warrior. You don't want no draws. Got to find him with your panties tied around his neck. <laughs> Amen. Somebody just cut the podcast off. Just Look at verse 22. I'm talking about. Second King. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 22? Uh, you said chapter 20. Yeah, chapter 22. We know Hezekiah. He got a little extension. Chapter 22, verse 1. Josiah was eight years old. Eight years old. How old is uh, 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 Jackson? Eight. Come here, Jackson. Guy is brilliant. I wonder why you didn't say why, Bishop. So Josiah was king at this age. It's in your Bible. He was eight years old. Right? So he didn't fully, Gabby, take the reins of the kingdom until he was 16. So those eight years, those eight years, he was being, here's the key word tonight, influenced mm. by the woman we're going to talk about tonight. And she was married. That's why you don't become unequally yoked together so that you, 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 you too busy trying to have peace in a home where you can't even use your influence. And then I'm going to tell you tonight what her husband did, but no way in the world was he tripping with her because the gift of prophecy fell on her. And by the way, this was uh, some uh, 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 kinfolk of, of Rahab. Are you hearing me? Right? Rahab. That Rahab, who ended up being instrumental. Uh, Joshua saw something. You know what I told you he saw, he heard about last week. Thank you, son. I'm, I can't talk too much because Jackson will go ask his mama <laughs> what Bishop talked about. Just go listen to the podcast. That's where you'll be inspired. <laughs> uh, so he was, he was eight years old when he began to reign. Read, read. And he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedediah, the daughter of Ada of Boscath. And he did what that which was right in the sight of the Just Lord. Stop right there. So his mama's name was Jedediah. 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 What a name. JDD. <laughs> JDD. Okay. Jedediah. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. No, that's not it. Keep tearing. Anyway, but I don't read it where she had any influence. Okay? So you might have influence even though the child did not come from your womb. But the, what's going to be horrific about this funeral on Saturday is that's when you saw Jessica's mama running here. I was going to go see them over something they decided to do. Was that. She raised, she said, I have a picture. The boy that got gunned down. I have a picture of him in this church, and you dedicated him. But they never brought him back. So now his next time back, he's going to be rolled up front here. Wow. And she said, I literally raised him. Because remember, we did the other, they're trying to make me the family mortician. All right, remember the other, her brother got gunned down? That was his dad. So this, this boy who got gunned down has... His baby mama got gunned down at the house party in January of last year. So the one of he has two kids. I heard some other news today. But, but the one child has no mama, no daddy, no grandfather. So I tell Jewel, and he was watching. I said, this, this is why you, know, you don't have no book. I said, I love street people because they just come with it. I just come with it with them. Religious people get on my nerves because they never what they think they are. <laughs> they just show up in church and wore a big hat knee highs with a knot in the back and got full of himself. I got a bad attitude tonight. Y'all pray. You praying for me? <laughs> I just felt a bad attitude come on. <laughs> That's some nonsense. So I tell Jewel, I said, Jewel, you should have brought him here. But here's a horrific thing. 
Jewel said, I raised him as my son. This is going to be a rough day on Saturday. I literally raised him as my son. But your influence wasn't long enough. Hmm. So she probably broke. You saw, you saw, you saw I'm like, Jewel, you got the Holy Ghost right here. Just a Janetta got it right here on this floor, right here. So here's a family want to come to church on Saturday mornings at 10. Ain't no service but a funeral. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm up for it. I don't feel that, that last, it, it can't be worse than that last one. Hmm. With the mom and the little baby in there. I mean, that's the worst ever. Okay? My point is, she had, you know, thank God she, she scooped up because of a family situation, but no influence. All right? No influence. And I started this off with, we don't need you just to get married and get full of yourself. Where's your influence? Right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And not just influence, but can you influence something that came out of somebody else's womb? Hmm. And you just sprung on your own family, that's easy. That ain't really hard to do. Okay, so that's just a point I note. Read verse 2 again. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord... And walked in all the way of David, his father, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. Somebody was responsible because his daddy was no good. Matter of fact, write this in your note. He was the last good king of Judah. <laughs> so somebody was responsible. You can't help the family you come out of, but somebody was responsible. Okay. I don't care what family you come up, but I, you notice I try to exercise my influence over you. Okay? One of my, her Mary, gorgeous supermodel daughter came into the office. All right, where are the other two inches on that skirt? Oh, girl's a banger. Oh, girl, you know what? That, that's a compliment to me. Where are your two inches at? Right away, why you transition trying to come back home? Come back home dressed up. You holding up private. You holding up God. I'm exercising my influence. Huh? Not I'm so glad to see her. What do you mean glad to see her? She was born here. Man, y'all be letting people off the hook. I don't let people off the hook. All enablers let people off the hook. Then you want to talk about what you should have said. And could. It don't matter what they say on Saturday. It would happen. I talked to you. Scared. You hard on the saint, but soft on your family. Hmm. Isn't that crazy? But if Lana showed too much, uh, Bishop, I can't, don't Bishop see that? Lana trying to live right. Yeah. Huh? Uh, not all of it, but most of my daughters just mess up just so I can jump on them. <laughs> you think I'm lying? I got one of war, mini skirt to Rome. Like, mm, almost said the N word. Girl, what, what? You come out here to Rome? <laughs> Ain't be, no good. Well, I couldn't send her back home. <laughs> <laughs> Who was with me in Rome? Okay. Come to Rome with, 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 uh, with, uh, with, uh, what you mean? So, so, so now she got to show her whole wardrobe before she go to Paris. <laughs> and she just does it on purpose. See, see, she does it on purpose. I can't get rid of it. Huh? Show Beast having a whoremongering pastor. I like that. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my point is, so the influence between year 8 and 18 that made him go in the right direction. Somebody had a part of that. Uh, you should pride yourself on God using you to help somebody else turn a corner. Not you seeing their gift, 
but you sit on it because you don't want them to think they all that. I want Tisha to think she all that. She I is. want the Carlisle family to hold each child accountable. Your other son, don't let him be happy with his friends and then that look in church. You jam that up. I'm on something tonight. We build a legacy. You don't let your children play you. I asked Jessica, where your daughter at? All these pictures of her and Buka, all that. Oh, somewhere it turns up. I, man, if you should have enough power. When you tell your child to show up, they scared not to show up. Well, they, yeah, well, I, you know, I could talk. I jumped on the highway as Azura. I got a ticket when I came back. <laughs> no influence. Ask people that are lost, man. After you lose them, it's too late. You want influence on the living. Huh? And my whole point of going to some of y'all who are blessed with good companions who you still have, thank God for them and tell God, I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to have some influence and I'm going to direct somebody to this style of life, of living. But you can't do that. Ain't nobody trying to come with the kabungees and watch y'all fight. Talking MMA is on. No, the Kabungees is cracking this week. <laughs> Last week, he choked her out. She didn't even tap out. <laughs> Somebody trying to see that mess. So, 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 I'm, I'm, you see, you read between lines. So, for this king to have a crazy daddy and he turned everything around, somebody has some influence. It was a husband and wife. And the beautiful thing, essence, was. I'm going to tell you what the husband did. It looked like it's kind of downplayed, but it was important. But he wasn't jealous of the wife's power. Don't be trying to hide your power to hit no wedding. Let the man know. I see things. I see through you. Now, if I say too much, uh, don't you think you want to see if he like men? You might want to exercise. <laughs> I see you have a boyfriend in Columbus, Ohio. Check, please. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Uh, that one man told that girl, well, let's talk about, you know, they was supposed to be gay. Let's, let's talk about uh, uh, the sexual natures. Don't worry about that. I got that handle. <laughs> First of all, what man don't want to talk about sex? They're your first cue right there. They're your first cue. All right. Man, they go to pocket. You can hear people just cutting off. It's good. Stay off. We handling something. Huh? So, 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 so you crazy. So, so, and it wasn't long. I said, yeah, okay, well, since you, you got it like that, let, let, let me go ahead and bring you the aggressive moves. I think she scared him half to death. <laughs> the man's scared when he don't want to come to bed. He's scared when he'll put a child to bed, a doll, a Tonka truck, anything <laughs> to make the bed uncomfortable. Say a Tonka truck. Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, before it was all all night cable. When the flag came on, you could have got you some. <laughs> that day over with. That day over with. Ain't no flags. Man, that TV will stay on all night. Okay, I'm trying to help y'all. Hey, Amen. You do not hide your power to be with anybody. Okay? This is where I am. I come to church. You don't, I don't, don't, I just, I just, I just don't want no desperate daughters who will fall for the first time they hear the Lord Jesus Christ. There you go planning. Ask you some questions. It, 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 ever dawn on you that you're so powerful that Satan's going to go overboard to trick you? That's what wow. I'm teaching tonight. Wow. Wow. What he wants, what, 
this didn't come. Brandy, how many times you tell her it wasn't that do with the biblical name? Look at Brandy laugh. Huh? It ain't no bit. It looked like it was all lining up. I said, but I, I said, something wrong with him. I said, he ain't, he ain't in, but he know me. Matter of fact, he told her, I, I clowned at that funeral. Everybody else telling, I don't have no jokes. Man, I could, man, he the one told her. Like, he, your pastor got up there, and he, phew, I had no jokes. Not when I wasn't even going to go, and God got, told me, one, oh, yeah, you're going you gonna to go, and you're going to say something. All right? <laughs> they were scared of me. I probably could have took the church after what I said. I don't want, man, so you kidding? Messed up people. Are you kidding? I don't want that place. I ain't that, I ain't that cat. Because I'm teaching him. Because I'm not grace for their problems. And they ain't grace that had no pastor drive, no hell cat. So we, we, we never would have got along. <laughs> but but he, I said, he know me. He also knew, like, wait a minute. For you to pull those kind of stunts at that church, something wrong. You've been enabled. And the last thing she needed with two boys is another little boy. That's a real man holding that door. That, that, that's such a real man that he only left church early to go get an earnest deposit on their new house. Can't be sneaky. Get off of where black people meet. They meet at the penitentiary red and high V on Friday. Where black people Hold meet. On, Some of y'all, I done disqual I done disqualify you from your race anyway. Because your record ain't good. <laughs> Get on where Puerto Ricans meet or where, 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 where. Argentinians meet. You need to leave everything black alone. So you bring another pick me in here. Talking about, well, if God bless Kevin Hart, look, I already know you don't even like short black men. Here you're going to bring one in here. Talking about, I had a vision. Back to the Bible. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Pick it up at verse. Ah, uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Pick it up verse 11. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the book of the law that he rent his clothes. Here's what happened. They went somewhere and they, I tell you, well, pick it up at verse because you got to get this. You have to understand what, how Josiah was blessed by a husband and wife team that had influence. I'm going to say it again. Some of y'all like, I'm not interested in you being married with no influence. We're too far behind. When I say we ain't talking about, we're talking about the church, period. We're too far behind. The group coming up, what do you think I got the bonefish? They, because we got to, we have a lot of fun. But I want them to emulate. You know, you know I'm about the other group. You know, <laughs> put this away. Put it nicely. It was 10 lepers, right? One came back and said thank you, right? If I get one person to come back and say thank you, that's good. If I have more than one, then I'm, I'm, I'm doing better than Jesus. <laughs> Let that sink in. So we got one, all right? That's good. Okay, more come, fine. Some of you ain't going to recognize if they make it back. Hmm. You know, you, they, have, they don't even know what they signed up for. Hmm. Trust and believe that, okay? So, so we got the next, you know, we got next week, we got, we got Camille and Cameron. Ariel, and I shoot about her little friend Sam, and it's good to watch 14-year-olds who are really 14. They are just as goofy and silly, and they go to sleep. Ain't no grown women at that. Ain't nothing worse than somebody 15 trying to be 32. You're going to be 32. <laughs> Real soon. <laughs> These are goofy. Fit. You can tell when girls ain't had sex. 
Yep. They just as goofy and silly and sleepy. They eat and they all sleep and you just can sleep any kind. But that's when you know they're young. Anybody else, man, your neck would be like this forever. <laughs> they can fall asleep at the table all kind of way. <laughs> but they're a joy to watch. Because they want to be like Kenny and Trey. These are two people who don't even realize they're married. They're going together having sex. <laughs> they no, they don't, they don't realize they're married. They just be playing. He get her in headlocks and just beats on her. And just, 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 they don't, they're not, they, they don't know they're married yet. They just some kids going together, getting it in. They, no, no, come after two years, you can't, ain't nobody got no rigid. That's how people are unhappy. They, <laughs> I got, I got to get hyped up to spend another week with that helper. <laughs> I need a power shake or something. Huh? What, what I tell you, that, your wife got that little goofy laugh. You another one, man. That, that lady just looks, she take a picture like, these are some kids and they look like they kids. Goofy. Just a goof. Her laugh does not match her presentation. <laughs> like if I if I had her in black right, I said, just don't laugh. We can't do videos. You'll kill the whole essence of my vibe, what I'm trying to get across. <laughs> you just is cackling. How you cackle? You look like a stupid Vogue model till you open your mouth. Huh? She just cackles. she just cackles. You can always tell somebody been screwed. Dropped. Amen. Get a picture of yourself before something. Man, you cannot say it doesn't make a difference. It makes all the difference. I wish it was just a penis. But it's a loss of what you never can get back. And that's why you got to stay at the altar. Amen. And recapture. Ask God the blood. Give me what I lost. Amen. Before I, amen, gave my heart to the wrong person. My point, so, 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 so these, these kids, these kids, they, they looking like, well, they married? Yeah, they married. Well, that looked like fun. It is fun with the right person. Amen. It ain't fun if somebody don't pay bills. <laughs> it ain't fun if they don't work. It ain't fun if they don't want you. It ain't fun if they want somebody else. None of the above, Okay. So my point is, they have influence. And whatever problems they have, everybody has problems, don't get me wrong, they bring it to me. Yeah, situation come up, very, very lightweight, but just distance. They like, did I handle right? No, you didn't handle right. Rebuke the way you handled it. Now, he didn't get mad and go join, join another church. <laughs> he called me and asked me. See, a young man called and asked, did I do it right? You know what I mean? Did I do it right? No, you didn't do it right. She, there's a dis, y'all have a distance. No, no. This is how she feel. No, you straighten that out right away. Get off the phone. He, he, he's getting used to my quick. Like, do what I tell you. Click. Right. She used to it. Like, I ain't no buy and I downshift it. You all right? I'm getting, oh, don't say that. Mm. You all right? Stop trying to do better. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. I'm doing better than something y'all did today. No, you're not. <laughs> Huh? Look how you feel? You asking me a question? Let's get this hand up. Sure, did it. he did it so quick. I'm like, dang, I need a church full of young people. No question, no soundtrack, no, well, well, how I really feel? Mm, look how you feel? You called me. <laughs> Don't call me, tell me how you feel. <laughs> Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. How you feel? Amen. So I said, get this hand. Amen. He, everything got solved right away. He's keeping his word. This is a phenomenal young man. Yeah. He's in school. He's keeping his word. Huh? Part of it, he's disciplined. Even out at Old Chicago, he's doing work and having, conducting symphonies and stuff. Why we laugh at it? <laughs> Telling adult jokes and stuff. He just, he just. Uh-huh. With his book. He's studying. 
See, you be out there blaming us why you flunked. <laughs> so, like, like, why you ain't in school? Well, oh, Chicago, I tell you to come out. <laughs> you come out. You came out because you wanted to come out. <laughs> huh? But so, so we, 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 we're setting them up to go to Burger. You're gonna be a husband and wife. Influence. These, are, yeah, these people are not even 20. He's not even, he's what, 18? He'd be 19 on Zoe's birthday. He'd be 19. Influence. Okay? You're being trained to influence another generation. So love of your life, you know, come out the ceiling. Off the roof. Wherever you, you know, wherever you find them at. And then all of a sudden I'm going to say, do you have any influence? Look at Kelly Joe. You see, Kelly Joe ain't, Kelly Joe's in school. But if he doesn't marry Kelly Joe, and I know outsiders are trying to influence those two girls. I'm real good. I, it's easy. I should have went to the casino. But I'm trusting that your influence will be greater than any poison that, that tries to come in your home. Amen. Okay, because you, you don't want to underestimate poison. Because <laughs> you don't know who's going to pick up and eat what. Uh, but Kelly Joe has influence. Those children were just dropped. And, 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 and what kind of a man will not only love his kids, but take somebody else's kids? Amen. Amen. Huh? Uh, come on now. Yes. yes. So, so, so I'm looking for his influence to be strong and stronger. Especially, don't let people... Well, we can still kick it. I'm just not going to say nothing about that. Don't be stupid like that. Yes. that, that don't, don't be stupid like that. that that's stupid. Uh, no. No, I don't care what you say. Your spirit, if you don't say nothing, if you just stood here, you, you, you represent out of order and disorder. And you can't keep it to yourself. <laughs> you got more love than Jesus. Huh? So, so, because look, look, look at what God, not me. Look at what God trusted you with. Two girls that came out of somebody else's womb. You're the only male, you're the only, whatever's, whatever was done to them, happened to them, you, God said, I got called. You don't know what some old crazy uncle, half brother, you know, his kids been through. Yeah. Yeah. A certain percentage of the kids that are going to be here on Saturday have been molested. You already know that. Or, you know, in the family, right, you know that. But isn't it beautiful? He didn't just met, Paul Kelly Joe didn't like Tony. Or didn't like his kid by his, 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 his other, his ex-wife. Don't you come in here if a man has other children. Did I open up by saying that my wife don't run people out? I do. Didn't I say it with a sense of pride? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, no. No, no, I get in trouble. I just put people out just because that's how I feel. No, I ran out that uh, the kids we make, uh, we going to just shower yeah, you but did. your other kids. Yeah, you did. Yep. That's what I ran out. Yeah. I'm talking about you intimate with Christ, but you can't be intimate with the other kids he made before he made your kids. Yep. And some of y'all ain't smiling. You've been through that. You weren't good enough, cute enough, light enough, dark enough, tall enough, whatever the reason, you were on the outside. Amen. So you mothers, you make sure, don't be leaving no kids home when you want to take you out. Let your kids be their bad self. <laughs> and don't act like you can parent when you can't. Come on, let them climb on the table at the restaurant. Play with the ketchup. See if he really loves you. He might like, uh-uh, check, please. <laughs> huh? 
and listen for your children to pray at night. They might see something. What's your little grandbaby name? The one that's been here like three times? Ty boy. I can see Tyana and her grandmother. I know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna employ Tyana. This she has a spirit of discernment. I'm say Tyana. Tyana and Zoe are the same age, but Tyana could babysit Zoe. I'm not this. No. I say, Tyana, what do you think about this brother that this sister brought to my office? Bishop? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm, no, Bishop. Bishop, he's not the one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Something's wrong. Can't put my finger on it. It's a little finger, but I can't put it on it. Something's wrong with him. He, he's like, why do you love sister so-and-so? That's not good enough. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> Amen. That's your beast. You coming all in love. Huh? Baby, but he'd been to Sing Sing. He was just visiting. Uh. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> uh. He just was able to get visitors. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. He just qualified for visitors. You understand? Man, just wait on God so that you'll have influence. Right? Wait on God. If God ain't in it, you're like, uh uh. I need influence. All right? Because after you say, I do, and it's the wrong person, welcome to hell. Part one. You're not careful. You can't convince me two warm people both make it to heaven. Where are they going to put you at? <laughs> Where are they going to put you at? Huh? Over in heaven with a restraining order. <laughs> now, we can't even come back to the earth because you got it blocked off because y'all arguing. <laughs> Gabriel got a and you done pushed somebody off a cloud. <laughs> Dangling somebody over Mars. I'm, I'm going to drop him, Jesus. If you... Michael got a referee. <laughs> Michael got a referee. <laughs> now back to the Bible. Verse 8. Verse 8. Yeah, I'm just messing with y'all. Verse 8. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan, the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. Hey, I found the book of the law. Read. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan, the scribe, came to the king and brought the king word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house and have delivered it unto the hand of them that do the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Shaphan the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. Okay, I read all that because, because this is, so he reads this and finds out that sin was discovered. Okay? Sin was discovered. So this book was found setting the stage for this prophetess and her husband, to exercise her gift. So she's already had influence over Jackson, the young king, her and her husband, which means they had to be on one accord. If you're not on one accord, you can't have any, in, any influence. Then when you see how powerful she is, he has to be a man who did not suffer from low self-esteem because he, uh, the Bible only mentions his craft, which I will allude to, but the emphasis is on her power. Don't hook up with somebody who can't deal with the powerful part of you. They just want the cute part of you. And please don't be nobody's hood ornament. I have a silver shadow. I Now, the new phantoms, you can push a button and it disappear. I like that. All right. Y'all didn't catch that. Anyway, but, but the other way, you, you can push a button and just... Then it comes right back up, all right? Huh? So you don't want me nobody's hood on it, man. 
uh, we, we knew a lady in Austin. I hope she ain't listening to the podcast. Her husband just didn't have it. You ever know a few people that just don't have it? And they want it, but they want it for the, for the wrong reason. Just like, I want to be able to sing like you, but it's all for the wrong reason. It's all for the wrong reason. I'm going to clown. I'm going to pull a keyboard out of my driveway. I'm going to wake all my neighbors up. I'm going to have me amplifiers. Are you kidding? God killed me. I only had one concert. He'll kill me after that. I love talent. I mean, y'all, I, man, I just like, man. Drink the mic. Are you kidding? Drop down on one knee, slide. <laughs> I just can't sing the song. I got to add something to it. <laughs> I'm like, I'll kill it. Huh? Uh-huh. So, so, so her husband, he just doesn't, didn't have it. But she had it. Powerful. So she didn't have a pastor like me. I think she ended up getting divorced divorce because they're unequally yoked. Oil and water. Bishop Reed taught us that like seven, eight hour Bible study. Those people just don't, they make mistakes. They're humans. They just make mistakes. Don't let them sit there as oil and water. Okay? That's that gray area. That's why you got to have a pastor. Oil and water. Okay? Uh, somebody can lie to you. And you high nature and he wants every three months. I'm going to free you. Amen. I'm going to free you before you kill it. Amen. And you can't come all the time about, you know, I know he don't want none, but I think I can make it. You lying to yourself. Right. <laughs> Ain't that much Duracell in the battery, baby. <laughs> no, you cannot make it. <laughs> You're going to end up in the hospital with a, not for real. <laughs> no, you can't make it. Well, what if, what, what, what if, what if he fell off a motorcycle and it was a, that's a whole different case. That meant that you were graced. That's a whole different thing. All right? And even a paraplegic will try to do something. He'll wire up something. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll call MacGyver. <laughs> MacGyver, come here and hook something up. You just don't come over their house without advance notice. <laughs> something gonna come out the ceiling from the floorboard. Don't, don't, don't you worry about it. <laughs> but you can't, you can't, when, when sin's discovered, and you're gonna see this is very, it's very, so the king brings it to the people. Hey, we kind of out of water. So God sets the stage for not his gift, but her gift. Some of these classes on Tuesday, I'm setting the stage for Chaz's gift so she don't make no mistakes. So when that time for that gift, that Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 show up, she be ready. Amen. Because if this woman does not this woman speaks a prophecy, and it's twofold. One group gets the hard part. They were looking for Jeremiah because he was one of her contemporaries, but God wasn't using Jeremiah. God made sure Jeremiah was out of town. Hmm. So it fell on her. You don't never know when everything that God has put together falls on you. You can't be having no crazy husband that you got to deal with when it's time for you to speak a word to save lives. You can't have nobody talking about get off the phone and it's, uh, what about me? Who's secretly jealous of you. Because people like you. Because you just don't fly off at the mouth. If you don't know something, you just plainly say, I don't know. But I'll pray with you and I'll have no answer. You can't have no hub talking about you think you know it all. What you wear that for? <laughs> you just want some attention. It's just some draws and a bra. What you talking about? Huh? 
You just dominate the conversation. Excuse me, I read the book. <laughs> Show beast, you know, it's, it's God's hand on you, but I can't say nothing. Because if I say something, I got to hear about it for the rest of the night. I hear you, Chaz. I got to hear about it for the rest of the night. I can't have too much success. Anytime somebody always beats you to compliment your companion, they married to the wrong person. Oh, it's all right. You did okay. I won't even say nothing. <laughs> there go your amen, ain't it? Huh? Now, now here, here, here's a, that, that wouldn't even be a good test. You ain't flunked the quiz. Here the test. Janae, God used your husband in a great way. After he done made you mad. Why God got to hold his gift back because you pissed? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm on something tonight. Why he got to hold the gift back? Oh, well, you're angry. Say, you know how your name feel tonight, don't you, God? <laughs> Why got to hold the gift back? Then all of a sudden, you, you forget. Then you throw your beauty in. Throw the juicy fruit in. He done for God had juicy fruit. Think you ate those mashed potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you ain't bony, cause anybody wanna start no fire. That's why you ate the mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's trying to start no fire. Set the whole house on fire. It was just foreplay. We don't know what happened. <laughs> whole place flamed up. God show used you. I'm going to use you. I I'm here to be used. <laughs> See that? That's, that's an argument killer. Instead of don't touch me. Lord. Are they going to say, he touched me. <laughs> <laughs> and me. <laughs> me. They go, Man, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing worse than somebody getting spiritual when they wrong. Touch me. <laughs> Nothing worse. When you wrong, put your commentary up. Put your Bible up. Don't bring out the anointing oil. <laughs> when you wrong, you'll make somebody hate the Lord. When you make you mad, you say, boy, God show you. Wow. I shared my couple here. She's talking about that, that God used them, those kids that, see, flow with God. Ike and Tina. <laughs> How God used them. Amazing. Those kids that hurt, I don't even know if that's legal. They bring those kids in for work. The kids getting baptized. They broke it. And then God used them to pray. You feed off on that. You don't go pick up the argument after that. Right. You stop it. Oh, come on, man. Don't be bringing up something happened in 1987. <laughs> well, see, in 87... ago. I know, but I'm just saying. You flow with that. You understand? Am I making sense? Yeah. A future of a country was at stake. If this man, the anointing's on her, if this man's out of order, if he feels in, uh, insignificant or insecure, because he only gets one little sentence, and she gets a whole dialogue. You mess up the whole country. So here, 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 we, 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 we have responsibility. We, we have Ariel, uh, Cameron, Camille, they looking. And then all of a sudden, y'all not 
two kids going together. Somebody put the Satan's tampon quit listening. And I'm going to show Kenny I'm mad. In front of those kids? I'm going to put her down in front. I don't need you at Bonefish. You understand? You ought to be able to have problems and say, not now. While we here, we ain't. Uh, we, we, we got, we, we, we can't kill our influence. Ah, everybody need to know I'm mad. Going to get the table, not order nothing. No, you eat everything that won't run from. <laughs> everything. I'm not hungry. Everybody got to know you pissy. <laughs> It's just, it's just, no, you just, man, you all eating other, other people's food. Like, you, you don't want that? All of a sudden, you there. So now we all got to be quiet. <laughs> man, that time we were, that person up there trying to pick. Man, don't come back. So I caught him. I caught, I, I caught him right here when they were sitting right here. I'm like, hey, you, you, you stay home. <laughs> How you know you was talking to them? Because I was looking at them. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't come out no more. We don't come out for that. This ain't pick people apart. Right. You stay home. Right. And we all got to get quiet. Right. Amen. And wait till your bowels move. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fool people like that. Don't we have fun out there? Yep. No. I'm going to leave this and go out there and be all tense. No. I'm teaching him how to relax. You already get there. Don't come try to bring a word. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> this will never end. I'm, I talked to Omaha Police Department today. I didn't talk to them. I ain't trying to add to that agenda. <laughs> you know I'm teaching you. I'm like, I have fun. Teach, now you get on a subject. Other than that, it's all fun. I don't want no intense couple out there. We ain't got time for y'all to solve the world problems. <laughs> you can't even pay your bills on time. <laughs> Come out here with a strategy for the world. I told you I already went through that. Made me miss that NCAA game. <laughs> Talking about it's time to pray. He's still mad. I'm sensitive when it comes to that. <laughs> he said he's sensitive. <laughs> Made me miss the game. Talking about God calling us for prayer. <laughs> I bet she come back from hell or the grave. I bet she won't do that again. God calling for prayer <laughs> right during the game. <laughs> man, I'm sensitive to that, man. You come and try to be deep. Okay. Not, not, during the, not during the Super Bowl. <laughs> Sometimes we get on adult themes. You ain't that holy. Your nasty self. Right, somebody gonna fly and find that floppy disk. That's old. <laughs> That's old. old. What that? What they tell you? <laughs> They've been perverted a long time. We to a DVD. <laughs> that mean they've been perverted a long right time. Okay. okay, sit right here. No, no. Uh, I'm just trying to help y'all because some, some of y'all some of y'all get impressed by stuff. Don't impress me. Because I don't care what you know. It's only what you can apply when you're in trouble that counts anyway. Right. All that other stuff, nothing. Skittles. Uh, it's when that gust of wind, that was a bad mess. Up. When that gust of wind comes under your tent, mm. can you still hold on? Yep. You can't live without some kind of gust of wind coming. 
Amen. That's it. All the other stuff means nothing. I'm trying to teach you. Just, you have ministry. You have a call. You can be a deep woman, but a fun woman. Don't be trying to be deep when it's time to be sexy. Come on now. <laughs> Ain't gonna be deep throat. I mean, that's different. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> is it, what, what day is it? Tuesday? I mean, that, that, that's different. Huh? But then if he's trying to witness, he's trying to, and, and all of a sudden you, 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 you groaning and moaning. Watch this, watch this now. now it, here's it, it, Mother Mary says, it, Here's the fake Christian. Are those people who only act affectionate in public and can't stand each other? That's some phony stuff. The church, I'm talking about the people, not the, the church is known phony stuff like that. <coughs> That's why I don't like those old phony pictures where the pastor and the wife all on his shoulder. Don't know if she done already put a fist in it. <laughs> I don't like phony stuff. Back, back, back. <laughs> so wrong. Don't be no phony couple. <laughs> Got a couple in church acting like it's better than everybody found out they were sleeping on the floor with some rental center furniture. You should be an humble. You should have spoke to everybody. Huh? You ain't got a box spring elevate you, and you ain't speaking? No box spring? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, man, all that is. How you look down somebody, huh? <laughs> and your whole house look like you Muslim. <laughs> you got rugs and come on now. We thinking you chanting three times a day. <laughs> Only stuff. Back to the Bible. Uh, so look at verse 11. <clears throat> Real, real couples aren't phony couples. Oh, we got a love affair. Why can't you wear turtlenecks in July then? <laughs> Not because of Higgins. You don't scratch you because we can't see your print. <laughs> mm. Oh, phony stuff. Huh? You want to act lovey-dovey because somebody else loves you. Maybe they've invested in being lovey-dovey. Maybe she shut up when he told her to shut up. Huh? Maybe. That's why they love you, Dovey. Huh? Maybe she tells everything Daryl does, she tells him it's great. No wonder he reaching and grabbing. That's what I'm teaching you on Tuesday. You don't never let nobody. And this day of destined women beat you in complimenting your companion. Amen. Watch this now. I tell you, ignorant. He already know. Man. You better ask Betty Wright. She already, Betty Wright know he already know. But she going to clean it up again. Look at a verse. Go ye, inquire of the Lord for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book that is found. Here we go, here we go. We got coming up. Coming up. The wrath of the Lord. 
For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book, to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. able to perform when it's your time to be on stage? Will you have the relationship? Do you have a husband or wife that will let you do the will of God and save somebody's life? Or okay. your life going to be, is it going to consist of missed opportunities? Now, everybody who had a chance to influence this child, this child leaves the courthouse, runs into somebody. No, oh, man, I had a deep day. You know, had nothing to do with what the paper said. They follow them home. <laughs> Only by the grace of God, we don't have, Mother Haynes ain't been, is, is not dead, because the window she was looking at is full of bullet holes, house full of bullet holes. But everybody who had a chance to influence this child is going to have a bad day, has had a bad day since last Wednesday. And I'm going to find out who's going to take it beyond a T-shirt. You know, I'm going to clown them, man. I'm, I'm going to T-shirt and tears. Who's going to take it beyond that? Okay. And you can't have no influence on Saturday. It's over. <coughs> Except for the living. It's over. And, 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 and nobody, nobody jumps them. You see that hole down there? Where are we going? Ain't nobody jumping in. I don't care how broken up they are. Ain't nobody jumping in. But a whole lot of guilt. Do you know guilt will make you double up in your stomach that you had influence, that you signed off? That's why I'm not an enabler. Because if something pop off or comes up, or man, there's a difference between the deaf angel and the angel of death. Wow. Right? I had to, you know, did you tell her the truth? Did you tell him the truth? That, that, well, that one girl got beside herself, you know, got mad at me and ran into that dope dealer and they killed his family and killed her. Passed away, he told that girl. Well, I'd have give it to him. You know, everybody else telling jokes and, you know, everybody go, man, they said he got up. He had status. You know, he's like, nah, nah. She had no business being there. That's unheard of to hear the truth at a funeral. That's unheard of. You got family members who get mad. You don't put they no good family member in heaven. And if you get popped in that life, what did you expect? Well, kill me. The Lord took him. No, he didn't. <laughs> Man, people just be lying. Okay. God is setting the stage. Here in this. Look at verse 14. So Hilkiah the priest, and Ahikam, and Akbar, and Shaphan, and Asiah went unto Huldah the okay, here prophetess. We go. Okay, right there. So this is Huldah the prophetess. What makes Huldah the prophetess great is who she's married to did not interfere with her prophecy. They had to be on one accord. And in this passage, it seems like she is more substantial than him. Well, wait a minute. But then again, that's your wife. So is she substantial then? You're substantial. Did you see Jeff talking about, man, that billboard been up too long. It's your sake of bonjour. So we drive out of the truck. Where's Jeff? He outside the billboard. <laughs> Got a long stick. How embarrassed would she be? He done crossed. I don't even remember what your other name was. What was it? A man. I forgot. He done crossed our Brewington. Kabunja. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
I am embarrassed. So now Tamika comes in with her head down. Like, bitch, I'm gonna talk to you. Why? That billboard. Excuse me? <laughs> that billboard need to come down. Hold on, hold on, homie. Run, run that back again. Why? Why? Somebody mark it up? No. <laughs> You know what? I can laugh because ain't no way it happened. My heart would drop. What'd you say? Say it again. Because she wait on God, and we know that was God that set her up, and she running somebody insecure. Man, God, you're not supposed to mix it all together, but you do. Everybody was just like, oh, come on. We saw her cry because the other dude wrecked the car and all. We this say no girl bit in and out. That girl been right here, been posting every day. Huh? And come on now. Every day. And now you got somebody want to tear the billboard down, draw on it. Huh? The bishop, uh, I don't want to be with Trey. Let me let me jot it down. I'm just gonna find my plot and dig it myself. You're kidding me. I didn't know marriage was boring. Boring. I told you it was the same thing every day. You gotta make it paradise. Huh? And then. You know, hooked up with a quitter, somebody who can't go the distance. Posting all that old fraudulent stuff, God this, God that, blah, blah. And then here comes a stone, man, you can't, we can't find you. Can you imagine somebody married to a quitter? Somebody who don't review. Can you, can you measure or calculate the unhappiness to someone with someone who, who's with someone with no word? that is adhered to them. No ad adhesion. You're like, yeah, yeah, you see this? Time to be on stage. I can't even bring a word to the country because I got Mr. Insecurity. Right? This girl about to bring it. Let me tell you what he did. Write this down. Let me read it. So, Hoda, the prophetess, the wife of Shulam, the son of Tikva. That's all it says about him. All right? The son of Horus, keeper of the wardrobe. Now, that don't sound substantial, does it? Mm -hmm. Keeper of the wardrobe. Okay, write this down. It was deeper than that. How could we guess? Had a prominent position in the royal court. Talking about her husband. It was a prominent position. He was the keeper of the king's wardrobe. He was in charge of the king's robes and clothes for all occasion. Now, if you know, I, I think it'd been a serious deal if he put out the wrong outfit. Mm -hmm. Remember the two dudes that was in jail with Joseph? Yep. That's why I got in the Because the king bit into something, hit a rock, chipped a tooth, and it was... <laughs> Of him found a fly in his drink, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think you had room for error. Right? So he was a keeper of the king's wardrobe and chain uh, in charge of the king's robes and clothes for all occasion. Okay, watch this now. This, this is a team, Keita. Get your brain old. Somebody done watched all your little exercise posts and just know they're gonna roll that up. Find out he ain't got no energy at all. <laughs> now Teddy want to bite him. Because <laughs> he know you're mad. Talking about why you always tell your dog sick him. <laughs> Maybe he can do what I ain't built up to do. Get you out of here. Uh, because, because this, this, this guy is also 
instrumental in raising Jackson or Josiah. It took both of them. Remember that eight-year lapse? It took both of them. Both of them were his instructors into godliness until he was able to take the reins of the kingdom. Hmm. So even though it does not mention uh, his, his occupation as being instrumental, she didn't raise Josiah by herself. He had to watch both of them. Okay? See, that, that's, where, that's where, watch this now, Essence, that's where being unequally yoked affects the kingdom. Because hmm. <clears throat> if too many people lean on Jeff, but you're a liability. Jeff's the only man, man, they're like, you know, I ain't ever seen this before. And, and, then, and then that sister can tell that you got a problem. You ain't said nothing but your eyes, those marbles get to talking. Oh, yeah, come on now. They can tell you really ain't. Mm. So I just messed the king up. <coughs> Poses a crucial deal because some spirit trying to roll up on one of my daughters I done poured into, and they done got immune to my voice, so they come to Jeff, and you done roll those marbles in. Well, okay, I think I just go ahead and get with it. When Jeff would have said, what Bishop say? All you're going to do is hear the same thing. You just desperate. Huh? And then here's where you come. It ain't your time to shine. You've been on the billboard. You know, come here, baby. This is what, look, you spend a night with us. Oh, that make, I make myself cry. You spend a night with us, huh? You, you don't have to settle for that. Then the Holy Ghost kicks in. Can I pass a church like that? We're, 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 we're to me, like, oh, baby, you look at us. I waited on this blessing. Where they just go back and forth with a touch. And that spirit on that girl, one of your daughters, one of our kids, it finally, it gets, it's like, you know what, I, ain't, I, I done ran into another. <laughs> but uh, then, then, then what happened? Now, this is a good hypothetical. Uh, no, no, what? Where are you going after this? Well, I was supposed to go to the movies with. Oh, no, you're not. You stay right here. Don't know what he had planned. Maybe he had planned to go to the movie, but he had his friends wait. Oh, you, oh, you think that, that ain't in the land no more? <laughs> One of our daughters already here, her roommate pulled a stunt like that in the college dorm. Got up and left her in the room with somebody. I can tell you worse stories than that. Where a relative was jealous of a relative and hooked them up with somebody. And they don't know what happened. They do, but they don't want to say they know. And that spirit runs into the love of the Kabunji family. And then that child, our child, your daughter, gets to walk down like Trajan, untouched. Mm -hmm. Um... Because at a crucial moment, an equally yoked couple, Ramon and Lisa, saved her life. Then that spills over to Handsome and her daughter because you reap what you sow. Look who's messed up today, hiding her child from all the saints. Saints. And they got to act shocked when they get buck. And the kids say they been buck. That ain't new. <laughs> Equally yoked. Suppose she liked Tamika because she, she's scared of Jeff because she ain't been around men. All the men she had been around was either drunk, high, or trying to get some. Tamika said, and Tamika with a spirit of discernment says, huh, See, that just means somebody slick going to roll up on her and pull her panties off. 
So Tamika says, you know what? She don't need no more women in force. She need my husband. Come here, baby. Sit down. Honey, you talk to her and leave the room. Y'all ain't ready for this. You just want to be married just because you don't need that. Need you stay single. We need some influence. Not people under the influence. <laughs> well, y'all been having communion? Well, we, we. He's still celebrating. <laughs> what? Y'all say, y'all have communion with scotch? <laughs> Supposed to be no scotch in your house. Never. All this. <laughs> Why everybody look at that? Look up. What you doing with a bottle of scotch? <laughs> now I got folk praying, studying. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what you doing with scotch and whiskey? You here? Uh oh, I got somebody to point their companion out. <laughs> With scotch in your house. Ain't no communion with no scotch. Y'all like, but you ain't preached on. I got preached on everything. <laughs> you do in this church. Oh man, I ain't staying here. No, no, don't go confess tonight. I'm <laughs> let me go back to this. So, 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 so I got a church full of scotch drinkers. Lord. I thought that person left. Anyway, what was also, she was also one of the king's instructors when Josiah was still a child. All right, write this down. They took care of him in his early childhood. Here's a key point. Under their teaching and influence, Josiah developed into a God-fearing person. Mm. Okay? Both of them. But now the stage, I'll be done, is set for her. All right, so then it says that he's keeping the wardrobe, verse 14. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college. That's another pouring translation with no college, with no metropolitan college. It's just poetry. Just cross that out. College. Just who did this? Just who did this? I know where the university is in the Bible. Shut up. No, you don't. It's a poor translation. Oh, boy, they commune with her. Uh, verse, verse 15, so read that. And she said unto them. Okay, now, no, no, no interruption from him, Mr. Insecurity. He wasn't waving one of the king's trials talking about this is what I do. <laughs> y'all, y'all laugh till it's you. Till you have somebody who just cannot stand for you to be on stage. Then what'd you marry him for? What'd you marry him for? So, so your husband's in there and needs some help, and you bust in talking about what you. How many times you gonna do that? How many times? Even when I mean, some you know, I'm so happy to be done talking to folk. I'm just, but I watch the interaction between my couples who, who hang around. Text. They even asked one of my sons, I said, why are you still here? He said, because I'm here to serve. Well, that's why he got those two fly whips. Anything else he want. And even when his wife has to go home, she don't just come in. She's not trying to downplay. That's what she ain't trying to downplay him to the other sister. Because I got Lana in there looking. She don't come in there and trying to lessen what Brian Jr. He, she know all his faults. But she's not trying to lessen him or, or take away from what he means to his sisters right. just to go home early. Come here the one time when, when the person busting it, man, my single sisters went. Even Black Angel back there, she always got something to say. No, 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 they, they, were, they were more, they were like, you got to be kidding. I mean, we hear him talk about this kind of stuff. We ain't never, they went, 
You're kidding. Her, like, oh, his hypotheticals really exist? Mm hmm. Embarrassing. So you want to get married so you can embarrass your husband? One of your bad days? You're going to marry somebody who you already know can't keep up with you, and it's your time to save people's lives? Hit his food banging on, got a stereo on his shoulder outside your window? <laughs> Embarrassing. Interrupting. You got a suicide, life or death on the phone, and you got somebody in the background stomping and clowning. And you got a suicide on the phone, and they're not playing. See how unequally yoked together people who had no business being together. See how they affect the kingdom. And just when, just when a soul is at stake or a country is at stake, here comes the enemy to make sure he clowns. So that that soul won't get any help. It's bad when you're the last person that somebody talks to before they decide to end their life. Or you were the last one who saw them alive. Or you, you're the last one. You, you could have, you had a, oh man, an opportunity. Now if you take it and they do it anyway, that's not on you. But all that, I saw that, man, don't ever come in with no after-the-fact mess. What you saw, but you didn't say nothing. But I didn't want to be out of order. You out of order all the other time. What would have been one more time? You understand? You've been out of order. Okay? I'm going to tell you again, this is the class. We don't need you just getting married. Because all you're going to do is get on somebody's nerve. They're going to start drinking, popping pills, stealing Robitussin. Because you were some insecure person, you're going to be a tussin head or something. Huh? We need somebody with some influence. We need somebody on one accord. We need somebody who's serious. We need somebody who knows that God allowed our paths to intersect so that we can affect the kingdom in a positive way. Not we just got together. You never know the power of influence until it's one of your children. Well, what would your heart do if somebody called and said, you know, Sister Harris, I got him right here. Or, or he had to work, you had to work, and one of the saints went to the game and something popped off. I never will forget Todd Andrews picking up Chauncey like he was a dial. When that, when that fight broke out of Northwest and he was outnumbered and he thinking he's not, he thinking he's what he's not. And Todd Andrews picked him up like he was a dial. Had him just like that. Uh, she saved him and Sarah was out when they was doing all that shooting at McDonald's. And she walked in there and me and Mother Mary said, amen, walked. And Mother Mary said, told those kids, what y'all doing out? It already shot one man in the head. It's one of those murder nights in Omaha. And they were sitting in a parking lot, and they drove. Just when she told them to leave, here come the shooters, and they dumped, and they shot that boy on 29th Street. We was there. That was my truck on the news. Life-saving. Huh? And I ain't talked to mother about it. I don't care about I know if she had kids and whatever. But man, if she'd have had a Mr. Mary set, what would they do? You, you don't come over here and die when God got to work. Everybody can't do street ministry. Some people are too scared. <laughs> See how affected some of this yellow tape we had affected? Huh? But, but man, you, you, can't, you can't go no community leader. He got his hand out for a grant. He is the problem. Making babies and leaving them. See the power of influence? You make sure you marry somebody when it's your time to shine for the kingdom. They sit back and say, shine, baby. Shine. Just shine. 
do you. Not interfere. And it's because what happens is, you know, if Preston shines, he, you know, he don't care about everybody in that row. He don't sleep with them. He want to hear something you got to say. You ain't said nothing. He like, they don't count. You ain't said nothing. Mm. Uh, that, ooh, <laughs> can't catch that and you already married. You got to catch that before. So you got to, before you hook up with somebody, you got to tell them about a great accomplishment and catch their first response, not their recovery response. It's like Vicky, you say, I have my own business and, and watch this. If you drop, check please. Right. I'm not going out of business so you can feel comfortable. Right. Always catch people's first response. But you got to pay attention. How they really feel about you. Not their recovery. Because you'll marry their recovery. And all of a sudden you, you, you need that person. And, and God, wait till I'm dead before you marry somebody who will go into the vault of what you told them and bring it out just to bring you down at your highest apex. Wait till I'm in the grave. Just when you shining, they want to go into the vault and talk about something that you shared to unplug you. I'm not making this stuff up. Huh? They don't went in the vault? Just in case you think you are that. Remember your child. Remember what happened? I think I just read. I'm kind of reminded of. But don't forget about when that happened. You have messed up. Your finest hour, nowhere does this man who just was over the king's wardrobe, he doesn't interrupt her because she is saving. She, she's telling one king, yeah, you finish. Yeah, what you found is true. Y'all out of order. Huh? So watch this now. We got to be sharp for our clothes. You don't find him interrupting when she's pronouncing an edict from God. Wouldn't that be a mess? No, baby, you too hard. You better shut up. God talking. You too hard. You know how people have lost their kids because they weren't on one accord? Let me, let me, let me look away. Mothers and their sons. Fathers and their daughters. Just some, somebody, or, or, oh, man, let me look up. That's the child that looked like the one that you really love. Somebody trying to bring them to an order and a discipline. But because you can't do it, you give them a pass. Instead of being on one accord. That's why everybody ought to go to the military so you learn how to be on one accord. You better not come out of that office saying something different than what that colonel or general said. You are fired. <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> are y'all hearing me? Somebody trying to bring something, a judgment, and you interrupt and try to dilute, dilute the word of God. Out of order. Families just don't get out of order. They've been out of order. Then your child who plays you goes back to you and says, did you hear what brother saw? Did you hear what bishop said? And he said it loud, too. First of all, why would a saint want to do your child in? Let's try that angle. Here's what they said to me, and then you don't like them in the first place. Instead of saying if it was true, yeah, you're right. You had no business being there. Put them on the phone. I want to thank them. I'm, I'm sure because I was at work, and I knew they were. Do you understand that the boy we're going to bury here on Sunday, on Saturday, the gang member, his baby mama was dead because she lied and said she had to go to work. 
and was at that party and got killed. That woman who got on TV and said, my daughter was not supposed to be a party, will be here Saturday holding that baby. That one cost her her life. And look at the ignorance. 75 people there, they still don't know who did it. Three people died. Ain't nobody saying nothing. You sure don't want to be the one and have that on your conscience. Huh? What would that woman give? Her daughter dead. Matter of fact, I got the news today. They're going to bury this boy by the plot that they gave him is by hers. That don't do nothing for a little boy. He ain't got no mama, no daddy. But what would that woman give for somebody to say, hey, you know what? I think you're lying. What you, where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? When you had your baby, your party day was over. That, that, when you had that baby, that's when you said, uh, that, 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 that was the end of your party. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to quit. So you're going to babysit so somebody else? And then, let me, then you want to blame God when the angel of death come by on some disorder you signed off on. I say tell folk the truth and live with them not speaking, talking. But some of them, you don't need them not, they owe you some money anyway. I tell people the truth and sleep like a baby. And when somebody is telling somebody the truth, don't interfere. If anything, say, yea, Lord. How we know this man was great? He didn't interfere with his wife. Here's what his wife tells. She said, thus saith the Lord. Verse 15. And she said unto them, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, tell the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the words of the book which the king of Judah have read, because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place and shall not be quenched. Her husband didn't say a thing. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 6, when God, dis get that, destroyed the work of your hands you got a problem look at her tell the truth and she's talking to a king people and telling the truth <clears throat> what's that say suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to uh -oh. sin suffer not thy mouth to cause what Thy flesh. Hey, I got a whole bunch of folks. They mouth that got them in trouble. <laughs> now I need them blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, and it's a wrap. You can't stick your foot in the Ark of the Covenant and pull it out. Sign, seal, deliver. Ain't that a Stevie Wonder song? Uh, I'm yours. <laughs> That's sign, seal, deliver. That's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. That's in the New Testament. That is not forgivable. Your mouth caused your flesh to sin. Read. Suffer not thy mouth to well, cause what I thy do, flesh. What I do, Pastor Bottle, when I get mad at you, keep to yourself. <laughs> First of all, I'm not that into you. Right. Just try that angle. Right. All right. I ain't that into you. I'm like, I can't wait to get to church to make them mad. You got to be kidding. All right. Thank God. Approach it like Byron Brooke. Think on a college. Right? Oncology. Think, think, think that maybe there's a cell hiding somewhere that was going to metastasize and the word of God came by and got it. And all you care about is, did he get it all? No one asks an oncologist, I know you left some cancer. Don't nobody care about no scar? And the margins. So if it's your attitude, I get your opinion too. Hmm. You ain't mad. 
enemy trying to time you. You know how the man did all that talking, lost that MMA fight? You see what happened? He jumped on. He did, man, he, he, but he's, I like him. He, he lost. He, was, he jumped on that dude, bloodied him. But here's the problem. He jumped two weight classes. So he, I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's very, talks about speed and precision and whatever. But you jump two weight classes. So what would have knocked out somebody in his way? This dude kept coming. This dude was bleeding, bloody, and kept coming. And, like, it don't have the same effect. What I tell you? So what you hit Satan with last year, this year, it, 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 you got something else coming at you now. You trying to start a business, you got something else coming. Huh? Uh, you don't know when you about to intersect with your berserk, you got something trying to, man, ain't nobody just going to let you walk down no aisle, amen, and minister. You got something coming. You got to know what you up against. Somebody rebuke the enemy right now. Amen. This, this, this is different. <laughs> Swung on it. And got caught. Then when he got caught, he tried to dump the man, do the, uh, uh, the ground game, and it would, the man walked through it and choked him. Matter of fact, when, when Holly Holm got choked out, they, they showed it. They, she was still unconscious. She was still trying to throw punches. Holly Holm is a warrior. She's, and she was winning. Both of these are good enough. She was winning and made one mistake. Holly Holm said, I got careless. She was beating that girl. And that girl held on for dear life and choked her unconscious. Holly was still throwing. Oh, boy, he hit that dude, didn't take him out. He walked through it. He got caught. He got hit by somebody two weight classes heavier. He, then he tries to, to dump him. The man gets on him. And he ain't like Holly. When he saw himself pass it out, he tapped. Right. <laughs> okay? Why do, I, why, why do I give you hypotheticals? So you don't underestimate what's trying to break your home up. Mm -hmm. So you don't get cocky in your blessing. Mm -hmm. So you don't get lax in your worship. Because you don't think no strong winds come up under your tent. A strong wind is coming up under your tent. It's coming. Everybody. Me too. Everybody has a tent. A strong wind coming. Then we'll know if death, life, angels, principality, powers, things, present thing to come. Then we all know. That's all of us, all right? Suffer not, y'all. Read that. Suffer not. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. <laughs> Read. Wherefore, should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hand? You can't, you got all these mega you can't even hear nothing like that. You can't even hear nothing like that. Shall be angry and destroy the works of your hand. Nimrod, with all you built, comes down. Because you made a vow. You said, God, if you heal me, if you bless me with that job, if you touch my body, if you save my marriage, if you do so and so, I'm going, you ain't going to have another lick of problem out of me. And you done forgot what you said. God, if you bring me up, you give me another chance, you clear my blood work, you get that out of, God, I'll walk with you, I'll serve you. You bring my child back home, you touch my body, you shrink that tumor. Don't forget what you told God. Don't forget. You said, God, if you. And God did it. Once again, he trusts you. You don't forgot. So she goes back. Let me end it. She tells these people, no, you're right. What I'm reading is coming your way. Husband ain't said nothing. Go back to Kings. We done. So it goes back. She tells the other one. Verse 18. But to the king of Judah, which sent you to inquire the Lord, thus shall ye say to him, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard, because Thy heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself, thyself before the Lord. 
when thou heardest what I spake against this place and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and has rent thy clothes and wept before me, I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered to the grave in peace, and thy eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. So one, she tells him his judgment. The other one says, because your heart was tender. That's why I tell you, keep your heart tender in church. Don't come with no hard heart. Keep your heart tender. Tell God, I don't understand. I don't understand, God. Don't make no, come on, don't make, don't make no aggressive move. Like that helicopter instructor told me, he said, Ron, if you make an aggressive move, we both crash it. I can't pull us out. I don't understand. God ain't going to get you for not understanding. You reckless. God forbid you marry a reckless companion with their mouth. Because when those words go out, you can't pull them back in. And your words become your executioner. It's better for you to keep your mouth shut and let tears fall down. You know how people have ruined love affairs with their words? Every head bows. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you.